What all can you see at Bryce Canyon? From here along the rim, you can see our rock formations called hoodoos. And because we're at 8,000 feet above sea level and have excellent air quality, in some places, the only thing preventing you from seeing further is the curvature of the Earth. But what if you were looking from space through NASA applied sciences and satellite observations? We use those observations to look at all the nooks and crannies in this park. And as you can imagine, we have a few hard to reach places. This is my job as forest ecologist to make sure that the big trees, the landscapes they grow on, preserve and protect it for future generations. After all, the giant sequoias in Yosemite Valley gave rise to the very idea of the National Park Service. We're getting some help from NASA applied scientists to figure out what's going on in the forest. Which trees are most stressed, which ones are most thirsty, which ones are being attacked by insects, and doing so allows us to prioritize treatments that allow us to create a more resilient forest into the future. It's amazing to me that what NASA can see from space can help us understand what's deep in our forests so we can better manage the park. I have worked here for over 20 years, and I can tell you whether it's the view from space or down here on Earth, Yosemite National Park is a magical place. To help preserve this ecosystem, one of the ways we're measuring how the air quality here has changed over time is using data from satellites like Aura, just one of the many satellites NASA has that study Earth. Here on the ground, as a cave specialist, I also help run an air quality ozone monitoring station. All of these efforts help us protect the wildlife, vegetation, and visitors from poor air quality. So next time you're walking through the Chihuahuan Desert, think about everything we do, from satellites overhead to cave research underground, to help preserve this beautiful ecosystem.